Hello again, Ian Stoke with Mastermind Games, back with the final models of Burning Revelations from Malifaux, the Fire Gammon. Matt White, this is an Army Painter War Paint color. So, uh, there are three different sculpts, I'll just be basically doing one of them on camera, but Gammon are ele lesser elemental constructs. So easy to create, they can be directly summoned without the need for any materials on hand. In this case, they have loincloths, so I'm just going to avoid hitting those. If I get the body, they're going to have a fairly bright, fairly bright. And that happened. All right, I'll do another one and glue that back off camera. Wish I knew how that happened. It's frustrating. Model breaks are always frustrating. But that is one problem with uh, Malifaux models in general. They are a fairly brittle plastic and can break quite easily. Okay, so first, this doesn't have to be completely solid. And that's going to be good enough, so once that dries, I can get the first real base coat on there. So back in a bit after some repairs and patch up the rest. Okay, seem to have a little glitch in my system again, but Phoenix Red 09005. So the model with the broken leg is fixed. It actually looks like it was a separate piece initially, but just didn't get glued properly. That happens sometimes. Still using a fairly large brush for this. I'm just going over the well non one cloth area. I don't know if I could technically call it flesh, but It's not as picky with the uh, white I put on here. I do want a nice solid coat of paint on the body of this creature. It's not too bad. Let that dry and move on to the last base coat. Some bubbles right there. Last base coat, Shield Brown 09161. Doing a layer on the rolling claws. Go ahead and go the way up behind the tail here. So the reason I didn't do the whole one on one is I did want the loin claws to be to have a fairly dark to them. Okay, apply to the rest, and I can, or actually no, there is still one more base coat to do. That's uniform gray and army paint or war paint. Get that done now, and then get these applied to the other two models, and then I can start shading. I'm just going to 
go on the face, and this is that uh, hand sculpted thing I like to do. When a model has a uh, tab on the feet and a slot style base, that's a little trickier to work around because that tab is designed to provide stability. Whereas uh, a model that glues uh, straight down on its own feet, while well, it's going to have, may have some. Uh, stability and uh, connectivity issues, as in physically connecting to the base, you've got more choices in what you can do, I feel. So apply to the rest and start shading. All right, shading. If I can get this camera to focus, maybe. All right, Woodstain Brown 09160. So one part water to one part paint to thin it out into a wash for most shading anyway. And go over the base coat area. Carefully, that's a little tricky around the waist here. It's just a thin, barely visible band. So apply the other two in one one's dry. Next shade, fire red zero nine zero zero four. Using a light touch here because this model has only one connection point to the base via the one foot. And while in terms of the model staying put, it's not much of a problem on this fairly lightweight plastic. But if this were a metal model, it would either have to have a tab base or some kind of bracing because it would bend over over time. I've actually had that happen before and I've had to find some creative ways to uh, brace metal models that are a bit too heavy with poor connection points. And that got another one close. So I'm just going to soak it with the brush a bit. These are elemental contracts for our other types of gamut, including wind, ice, air, or wind, ice, and poison. Okay, so it's a little more off the one cloth there, and apply to the other. A little bit on the tail, the tip there. Okay, apply to the other two. Once it's dry, I can do the last shade. All right, last shade. Stormy Gray 09088. the base so once that dries I can highlight the detail. Alright time to highlight. So this will be kind of a dry brushing technique. Fire orange 09006. So the key to this no water straight paint only you're going to need a ragged feathered brush like that. Rub most of the paint out on a paper towel. Get out of the way. Then lightly dust the area to be affected going against any ridges. This will catch on the highest 
portions of the model, but not the recesses. And it's most visible on the shoulder blades and the uh, flames coming off its head, passing for hair. So fresh paint is necessary. I just realized I forgot to do his eyes, which I really should do first. So matte white, which is an already painter thing. And I'm not going to give him pupils. I'm just going to give him blank eyes. So, find an appropriate brush. Doing this as a base coat. and move on. Okay, next layer, Sun Yellow 09008. I'm using this selectively on the more flame-like portions of the model. Second to last highlight, Driftwood Brown, 09162. Misty Gray. Make sure this is recording, I'm doing something weird. I see if I find the right brush for the job. You want your brushes completely dry, so in my case, I'm switching out pretty freely since I have quite a few that are suitable. This is a hand sculpted basing I do. It's a layer of epoxy, a layer, layer of non epoxy, but sculpting putty called epoxy sculpt. I just put down in there, carve the pattern into while still wet, and then apply that to the rest. And second to last step pure black 09037. Switching to a flat head brush for this. Just lining the edge of the base, avoiding the basic material. Now, if you're going to use sand, flock, or talus, or other materials to put in the hollow, then do this first before adding those materials. Being very careful here, this is the one that broke earlier. Alright, apply that to there too, let it dry completely, and there's one final step. Alright, very last step in that light. I'm just going to be numbering the backs of each base so I can quickly and easily differentiate between them in a, in a game. 
this is something I would consider completely optional and something I do for my own convenience. But it is. So just Roman numeral. These are easy. Just one. Two. And three. I just need to refresh my panel a little bit. It's quick and easy to do. By writing that number on your reference card, it makes it a lot easier to track things. And here we go. Trail of Fiery Gammon ready to burn, burn, burn. This is the last one from Burning Revelation set. But I've got plenty more Malifaux coming up. Until next time, I am Ian Stokey with Mastermind Games, signing out.